much love and peace to go around. So much love for the whole world on a beautiful day. You're watching Hello Nigeria. You're watching Hello Nigeria. Don't touch the dial. Hello Nigeria. Watching Hello Nigeria, you're watching Hello Nigeria. Don't touch the dial, Hello Nigeria. Sit back and If you want to change the agricultural sector, you must put in what you expect to get out. But the question is, which sector of agriculture would you want to get involved in? A lot of us do believe that agriculture is a way out in an event where oil sector drops. But if that's the plan B, are we ready to really invest in it? Is the nation and the country ready? Well, I got two wonderful friends of mine, yeah? <laughs> Anyways, snail it is. And today we're talking about snail production and snail farming. And as much as you know, if you put in much to it, you never know how you can benefit from snail farming. Come with me. I get to talk to Timmy Africa and also talk to Mr. Emmanuel. And they are people who know exactly what it's like to grow snails, process them, and export. Let's go see exactly what it is. is doing enough for us to see that snail can be another source of revenue to grow our GDP. Are they doing enough? The government, I do not know whether they even know about snail. As an entertainment. That's in quote. I don't even, because one, one snail can give you 200 eggs. The least. 200 eggs? 200 eggs. They don't have female and male. Both male and female will lay these eggs. You are, you, as you move in here, you see eggs everywhere. So, in that case, those uh, uh, 200 eggs, if you have two snails at the end of a session. Which is how long? A, a session could be a, maybe six months, maybe three months. At the end of the session, it will lay because it will lay in a session. At the end of that session, you have that's, that two snails you started, you have 400. 400. 400. Let's not talk more. Let's just go on and you, 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 you understand? Yeah. You have 400. If the government is aware of this, that that is a way to encourage farmers, this is a way to do uh, all these things, they would have invested on the farmer. They would have support farmers going into snail farming because of the nutritional value, because of what they can, what they can do to your health. Unlike animal, uh, um, he has no fat, you can, you can sit down, consume snail, you, would, you have no problem. No immediate problem. So that can solve because it doesn't have that fat, doesn't have that, it has a good nutrient and a lot of values, you know, a lot of things you can use. The slime, the mm -hmm. slime of it is another export, another thing for medicinal. Mm -hmm. So all that governments, they, they, because they would have been encouraged, I've not among all our snail okay. farmers, mm -hmm. I've not seen anybody that say they, they have a, any support on support. this. <laughs> Thank you. 
as a whole and why? The government should, uh, should uh, invest more in the, not only in Sineo de Nona, but in all the sector of agriculture. And I think the way the government can come in and help more is by forming policies and then implementing them. We have a lot of poly agricultural policies, but not being implemented well, you know. So policy really is not our problem, it's the implementation. But, okay. but, when it comes to, but when it comes to the right policy and right implementation to help agriculture and solve the emergency that we have, in, especially in agriculture in the country at the moment, it is the issue of marketing and then price regulation. Mm -hmm. The price of agricultural farm products in Nigeria are not regulated at all. No, nobody controls the price, really. If you look at all these commodities we, we, uh, what we cultivate in this country, say cocoa, you know, uh, sugar, sugar cane, uh, cowpea and all these things, maize, they have international price for all these things. The pricing has always been the issue, then the marketing. So I think the government can come up with policy like, uh, uh, what have you, local marketing board. You know, like during the days of the Western region, the likes of the, the days of the Maula Wars and the, and the likes, you know. So the, because that time the government was buying, you know, from farmers. They buy from farmers and then they export on behalf of farmers, you know, and then make huge revenue because individuals cannot really do deals, big deals that these countries really want to buy. Right. But you see, there's so much uh, potential for this market, uh, for, for the snail business outside the country mm -hmm. and that's why i'm focusing on export exports because the exports will help the country mm -hmm. but what we, when we do snail export what we are doing saying is that we are trying to generate foreign exchange earnings for the country and so you have it mr Manuel gave us a detail about how snails can be processed and how more importantly how you can grow snails but the good thing is you know that snails can actually feed you your family and actually do the business that you want to do by you investing in it. Remember, plan B, agriculture, snail farming, you decide. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.